Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Paul Wesley, ladies and gentlemen, my little sister. <clears throat> what? By the way, have this I been in huge. this amphitheater? I don't know why this looks familiar to me. Crazy, it's, uh, right? It's in your dreams, bro. Oh. Uh, I don't know why. I feel like I've been <clears throat> Guys, there. this is rad. Oh, should we go crowd surfing? <laughs> Whoa. Can you imagine? Wow, this is a beautiful theater. Paul's going to take a quick photo. Everyone put on your, your best smiles for the photo. There we go. <laughs> uh, Woo! Uh, you guys are freaking awesome, man. Thanks for wasting so much of your time. <laughs> well, we're just so thrilled that you guys could join us here at Liverpool Comic Con. Obviously, this oh. crowd is rowdy. They know how to wow. party. They're so excited to meet you guys. It's the first time I've sat down in hours. Oh, God bless you. Well, how's it been going? First question for you, just a generic question. How are you enjoying Liverpool Comic Con? Everyone is so damn sweet. This crew I is disagree. amazing. <laughs> Not happy. The staff is amazing. You guys are amazing. I know it's a little intense, like, because we had to get here. We wanted to make sure we were on time. Um, I know people have, like, trains, planes, automobiles, families, all that stuff. So, obviously, sometimes we would rather spend so much more time with you, but there is... It's like thousands of people, so it's a little difficult. So you guys were such troopers and so kind. This is one of the busier, other than San Diego Comic Con. This has been uh, so busy. It's yeah. wild. It's an amazing I can't believe turnout. How many people so here in Liverpool? It's unbelievable. So we we really just you know we say that meaning like thank you and we love you, but we're also too like sorry it's a little insane, but it's not individually an issue with you. It's just that there's a lot of you. Yeah. So, and there's only so much of Paul Wesley that I can give. <laughs> Does that make sense up there? Yeah, baby. There's a random Santa up there. It's like, where's Waldo? Do you see him? The Santa up there? <clears throat> oh, what's up, Santa? S give it up for Santa, everybody. There he is. Well, Liverpool obviously is such a great town. And you guys, honestly, I said earlier to give yourselves a round of applause because they're such nice people. But you guys travel. Freaking awesome, man. They're so nice. But you guys travel all the time. Do you get to actually get out and see some of the city? Have you seen some of Liverpool? And I've been outside for a total of 10 minutes since I've been here. They don't let us out. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten, I'm, like, I'm like an inmate. I get fresh air for 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's not fresh air, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Playtime. It's quite the, the opposite, day. frankly. Yeah. No, it's been amazing. Listen, obviously, the city held a tremendous amount of history. I actually haven't been here in probably 20 years. Wow. Yeah, at least 20 years. So He's old. <laughs> I was born before 1864. <clears throat> What's that accent? It's a continental U.S., bro. Cool. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> you know, you work hard, you practice an accent in front of the mirror for hours, and then you get this shit. What are you going to do, bro? We actually had an actor on Vampire Diaries. Oh, it was Elena's uncle. Um, what was Andrew's name? John. John Gilbert. And he's actually brilliant. He's a brilliant freaking actor. But if you were... He just goes, oh. oh. look, bro, you were finally, you're a big star, dude. Finally. I'm finally on the big dude, screen. John Gilbert, a.k.a. David Anders, if he was ever off screen, and he was new to our show, too, so he was, like, pretty ballsy. Freaking, if you, like, f close up on you, he's behind camera, and you, like, flubbed the line, he's like, come on, bro, come on, Paul. Get a broom, clean it up. Come on, Ian. He would literally say that shit when he first got to set. And I was like, dude, who are you? <laughs> but it's a great line. Get a broom. Clean it up. I like Clean it. your act up. So any of you moms or dads out here, when your little ones are miss, you know, acting up, tell them to just get a broom. Yeah. Clean it up. We were so excited to ask uh, you guys to prepare your questions for the guys. But, you know, so talking about Vampire Diaries, I've met so many of your castmates. And I have to tell you, as badass of a show that it is, it's the, some of the nicest people ever. We've had some amazing people that we've met here. Um, but We paid her to say that, by the way. They did, yeah. Checks in the mail, right? Checks in the mail. But, no, it's a great cast of people, really, really nice people. But I love to ask them about sort of their... 
you know, their thoughts on vampires, any research that they did, or, you know, there's been several iterations of vampires. We have Interview with the Vampire, Old School Dracula. What was sort of something that drew you to vampires when you did your research? Did you go that far back? Remember? Going way far back. I, I love that one movie with Willem Dafoe. Um, Shadow of a Vampire. Shadow. Because it, it was the best. He was a creepy, weird. Because I was actually shooting a miniseries in Romania, and I almost went to Transylvania to, uh, it, was Vlad, it was Vlad the Impaler. It was yeah. his castle. Vlad the Impaler was freaking brutal, dude. Yeah. So I read up a little bit about Transylvania, but I, I, I didn't end up going, which is kind of a shame. Oh, I was, oh, you didn't go? No, kind of a shame. I went when I was living, when I was shooting a movie there, and, but, you know, actually, we, we did bond over, well, we bonded over a lot of shit, actually, but we first started this show, like, when you're just developing a character, you dive into everything, because this was a huge opportunity, like, this, I mean, in all humility, like, these two roles, the roles of Stefan and Damon in 2009, when the show was being cast, in that town of LA, where these were the two roles to get. Like, they saw 400 plus people per role. Mm -hmm. So when we got these roles, we really, we just wanted to dive in and create these characters. And this movie, if you, don't, if you can, get a chance, see this film with Willem Dafoe called Shadow of a Vampire. Because what it does is, Vampires are categorized as these like, now these like, look at this, like beautiful facades, right? <clears throat> but if you go back in time, there were these like ostracized, nasty ass creatures. And you didn't see that until this film uh, of Shadow of a Vampire. And you actually felt what it was like to be alone and cold. And we were like, You did Whoa. your research from what we do in the shadows. Uh, only from what we do in the shadows. <laughs> Which, by the way, after like a couple glasses we're of not, wine, we're not what we do in the shadows. We're werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> what we do in the shadows makes you really happy. But it was cool, man, doing the research in this. And especially growing up in, in Louisiana and, yeah. you know, reading Anne Rice and shit. It was just cool. It was cool, man. We have so many amazing fans here that are so excited to ask questions. I can just see the looks on their faces. You're going to make some great memories for them today. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, so let's go to microphone number one here on the right. Hello, sir. What's up, dude? Uh, my question is, what was your favorite season to film and why? And I don't know if this is allowed, but my sister's up there and she's asking if you can be in her Be Real. <laughs> What's up, sister? Um, we're not going to do a Be Real tonight, but... I can't wait. I, I just learned what a B-reel is. It's a B-reel. It's a new uh, I mean, a social media platform, which is sort of like the FU of like um, Instagram, where you're like curating something. You, if I'm mistaken, you take a photo like this, and then you take a photo. How else do you take a photo? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's all about in the now. So the photo only lasts for so long, so, so long. So you do one in the front and one in the back, right? Like I'm doing this now and I'm doing this later. Okay. But it's in real time. And it doesn't, it's not curated. Like you can't edit it and stuff, right? Am I right? You take what? Oh, got it. So it's now, like now, now, now. You can't edit it and stuff. Not always very helpful. Well, my be real would be sick right now. Yeah. Oh, well. Damn. But you know what, bro? You can always invite her down. Yo, be real, bro. Be real, bro. Be real, bro. But hey, man, check this out, dude. My Paul. Season was season three. Yeah. Because he was a ripper. He wasn't like a little bitchy, you know, like <laughs> vampire. Whiny bro. little Whiny bitch. little. Mine was obviously season one. You know, it's like, <clears throat> remember that scene? How old are you, bro? Twelve. Twelve. So I can, well, actually, it was broadcast to everybody. I can talk about this stuff. In season one, in episode five, and Damon and Vicky are running around, like, sucking each other's blood and dancing and destroying Stefan's bedroom. Like, that shit was fun. <laughs> Dude, we got that, 
other version of enjoy the silence. Siega got that. When we're like destroying. I don't even them. know what he's talking about. Remember, you know the song? Oh, that was a good one. I, don't, I remember the scene. I don't remember the song that was playing. It was that song? Remember that scene, bro, when you and Elena were in bed? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Wait, dude, hold on. Two seconds. This story is, like, brilliant. <clears throat> There's a scene where Damon walks into Stefan's bedroom, and Stefan and Elena are in bed. And it's that scene where he goes, like, oh, if I see something I haven't seen before, I'll throw a dollar at it. <laughs> so check this shit out. They're in bed, like, naked. <clears throat> and the camera pulls back. And we're doing this scene, and all of a sudden, we just hear laughter from the back in Video Village, where all the monitors are. I mean, I mean, like, real laughter. And Paul's a very serious actor. He wants to make sure that people are not screwing around behind camera. So I'm like, what the freak is going on back there? So I walk back there. The director is literally crying. It's so funny. I'm like, what the hell? They're like, watch this shot. They're like, all right, rehearsal, action. So you see the camera pull back, and you see Paul and Elena in bed. Well, what it is is... Paul's big toe is sticking up at the end of the bed like this. And as the camera pulls back, you lose all perception of depth. And it just looks like this massive projectile member sticking up. Dude. <laughs> it, it wasn't my big toe. <laughs> Oh, my God. It was unreal. It is unreal. Thank you. <laughs> he took that compliment real oh, quick. Shit. He's 12. Buy out a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. This we, is what you get in where, what are we doing? panels <laughs> with, with, with Paul and I. That was only the first question. This has gone haywire. We're going to go to a uh, question over here at microphone number two on the left. Hi there. Hi. What's up, dude? Um, I've never seen so many men in a, in a Vampire Diaries panel. Yeah. Well, first of all, you wouldn't believe how much people I saw trying to peek in look at you. <laughs> and my question is, if Vampire Diaries it didn't end how it did, how would you want it to end? That's a solid question. How old are you, dude? Uh, Ten. You want to take that one, Paul? I, I, I like how it ended. Uh, Dying, yeah. The, yeah, I died. <laughs> Dude, you just ruined it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's some funny um, shit. But in the perfect world, Ian would have also died with me. Yeah. And then Mystic Falls returns back to its normal state, and Elena and the rest of them are all human. Yep. Like they were in the beginning of the show. That's how the show should have ended in an ideal world. But I'm pretty happy with the ending because I was the hero. Yeah. He was a hero. That's right. And he, had, and he had the hero hair, remember? I don't right now. Got my brother's Bond hat, y'all. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we honestly, bro, we felt that the boys should have died. And that would have given the town that, like, we're very, like, team human. If you think about it, from a psychological standpoint, like this is like a psychology study where you all love these vampire brothers. You wanted Damon to be with Elena. Guys, he was like 165. She was 18. Ew. Not only that, he killed her brother. But I don't mean like once. He killed her twice. He burned their house down. Like, like, this is, she did it because of him, though. Like, this was not a stellar human being. So we feel like these boys should have just sort of, like, disappeared and let the town go back to normal. But whatever happens. Look at him. He's like, it's all good, dude. I'd say the best ending would be Damon dying instead. Yeah, there you go, bro. Damon, hey, listen, bro, Damon was a prick. Woo! 
What's up, Lexi? Security. What's up, Lexi? Um, I just had one quick question. Can you tell me about your diabolical plan? What? So, you have an hour? <laughs> no. Enjoy, everybody. Bye. We love you, Lexi. Yay. Give it up for Ariel Kevel. You cannot imagine how much shit I got from all of my friends, 12 and 15 year old daughters, when Damon killed Lexi, who's like this chill, badass, like hot vampire. Everyone hated me. Hated me. I mean, front row is going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I know. Yeah, Lexi was badass, man. And then the next week, they loved you. Well, that's because everybody gave Damon, like, dude, this guy could have walked into an orphanage and killed, like, 20 kids. And you guys are like, oh, well. He got in a he fight. He has a good heart. Yeah, he's like, he has a good heart. He got in a fight with Elena. Like, he and, he and Stefan are fighting. You guys gave this guy the it's like ultimate. an abusive relationship. Truly. Like, you guys gave this guy, like, some serious hall passes. It was wild. It's like that whole mentality of, like, I'm going to fix him, right? It's one of those. That's totally. sick. Not good. Totally. Therapist dream, for sure. We're going to go up to microphone number three, all the way at the top on the right. Hello. What's up? Hi, I'm Abigail, and I just wanted to ask you, um, when you were given the roles of Damon and Stefan, did you expect Vampire Diaries to get as big as it did? No. <laughs> Simply put. He did. I did. I didn't. It was, it was like, dude, it was Twilight on TV. I was like, this shit's gonna, ex shit's gonna explode. I thought it was gonna be last and then like kind of fade out. I didn't no. think it was gonna be like eight, ten over years. A billion, <laughs> over a billion people seeing it and, you know. Yeah, still. We were on a plane. No, it's off of Netflix now. Yeah. Oh, not in the UK. <laughs> in America. In America. Peacock HBO. and HBO Max. Yeah, no, it's still here. Okay. Dude. It was off everywhere. I'm confused. We're, you're just confused because you're... Because I'm a little bitch. You're secretly, uh, <laughs> secretly just like a, you know, blonde, bro. Spit it out, bro. <laughs> Check this shit out. We're on, a, we're on a flight to Vancouver for the pilot. <clears throat> And if you've ever seen interviews with Paul and I, you now know that, like there's a great balance, right? It's very yin and yang. Paul's very like glass half empty, I'm glass half full. Sometimes he goes a little dark, sometimes I go a little too light. We balance each other out. Paul's like, I don't know, man. I don't know if this thing's going to do all right. I'm like, what are you talking about? This is Twilight on TV, bro. This thing's going to go. We're going to do like five seasons. Cut to... Eight seasons later and 13 years together. It's my longest relationship, bro. FML. 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 Beautiful bromance. You Santa rock, deserves man. deserves a round of applause. What's up, number four? Yes, right here. Hey, I'm Rachel. And my question is, is when is Brothers Bond coming to the UK? Woo! <laughs> and Dude, wait, hold on. You got a video of this. All right, so you got to do that again. Hold on, take two. <laughs> we weren't, hold on, we had a camera issue. We weren't rolling. Can I also ask? Wait, 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 wait. You, I'm going to roll. You ask that question and everyone cheer afterwards, okay? All right, you ready? All right, hold on. Here we go. All right, you ready? Hi, yeah. I'm Rachel. And wait, I'm and wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, the directors. You ruined my focus. Hold on, hold on. All right, guys. get focused. No, but something. You're a shitty director, bro. <laughs> Shut up. All right, here we go. And action. What's your question? Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm wondering when Brothers Bond is going to be coming to the UK. Woo! <laughs> well, hopefully, also in the spring. Oh. And this guy and I will be back, and we will be sipping, and it's like, it's our dream. So, thank you for asking that Can question. I just ask you as well. My daughter and her friend couldn't make it today, and they're 11. Could you just give a shout out to Paige, Elise, and Lexi? Hey, Paige, Paige Elise, Elise, and Lexi. Lexi. What's up? What's up? What Thank up? You. What up? <laughs> you rock, man. Mate, if we were like, uh, you know, famous musicians or something, we could sit here like this is like playing a show. Okay. 
It's a beautiful amphitheater, man. Don't you feel special? <sighs> What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to microphone number one right here on the right. Hi, my name's Livy, and I was just wondering what was the most challenging scene to film? With him, anything any film with, with him. Paul. <laughs> anything with Ian, for sure. Anything with Paul, Ian. for sure. For sure. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate the honesty. All right. We're going to Why, what do you think was the most difficult scene for us? She's like, screw you guys. <laughs> we'll go to microphone number two. It's good two. to see you, Livy. <laughs> Livy. 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 We'll go to number two over here on the left. What's up, number two? Hi. What's your name? Tanisha. Who does number two work for? <laughs> Who does number two work for? <laughs> Give him hell. <laughs> Careful, boy. You're going to blow out an O-ring. What did you eat? <laughs> Come on. Please tell me you've seen Austin Powers. Oh, behave. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Remember when he was defrosting and he couldn't keep any... He's like, I bet Vanessa shags like a minx. He's like, oh, sorry. Due to the unfreezing process, I seem to have no inner monologue. <laughs> He's fucking brilliant, man. Yeah. Oh, farting. He's farting brilliant. Yeah. What's up, my friend? How are you? Good. How are you? What's going on? Right. Um, if you could choose to play the role of any of the Michaelsons, who would it be and why? Probably Elijah, man. Ooh. Elijah was the shizzle. Ooh. I don't know, man. Elijah. Um... <laughs> no doubt there. Elijah is hot as Texas asphalt. Um... Jesus. Um, I, I prefer got a mug Ian, today. Bro. I prefer I got a Ian, mug, dude. I, I got a Ian. mug with your face on it today, and it said, caution, contents are hot. Where is it, bro? I took it. It's in my room. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's some little, like, there's creepy bits of our relationship, too, you know? Bro. Uh, yeah, whatever. I, w I would honestly be Elijah. He was just so sexy and fun. Like Klaus, I love. He was sexy and fun, but then. Or Charles. Oh, he was or, yelling. You know what, too by the much. way, Charles Michael. Yelling. Charles. He's not a Michelson, dude. That was right. He's not a Michelson, but he does have Michael in his middle he's name. Not Charles Michael Michelson. <laughs> <laughs> what if someone was named Michael Michael Michelson? <laughs> <laughs> the third. Uh, son, why? Michael, Who would Michael you Michelson? be if you could be a Michelson? Um, I don't know. <laughs> then why in the hell would you ask me that question? <laughs> what is that going to do for you? I'm curious. That video's great. You're awesome, man. It's good to see Thank you. Thank you. That video's good shit. Oh, you watched what video that? I took? Oh. Oh, word? Jeez, finally. Approval. <laughs> Give yourself Guys, a round of applause. It's like an abusive yes. relationship. You're the star of the video. Thank you for that. That's pretty dope, right? <laughs> good, good directing, good acting. We're going to go up to microphone number three, all the I way up at the top <laughs> on the right-hand side. Hello, sir. Hi, guys. My name is Hamza. It's, you guys are amazing. just wanted to say that. Um, my question is, I'm a big fan of the Vampire Diaries, and I'm a massive fan of Supernatural. If the Winchester brothers, Sam and Dean, had a fight with Stefan and Damon Salvatore, who do you think would win? Oh, they'd kick our ass. No, in real life, too. They're pretty big dudes, right? <laughs> they're pretty big dudes. Ian's a little they're bitch. huge dudes. But I got to tell you, man, nobody can fuck with the Salvatore brothers, dude. Like, <laughs> like we would destroy, the, we would pull them apart and then eat them. But in real life, they definitely kick our asses. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks for the honesty. <laughs> We've got I would eat their souls. I would go so deep. And just <laughs> You ever eaten a pomegranate? Just like. <laughs> You're dark, bro. Dark. Savage. Step into the light, guys. Step into the light. <laughs> Carol Ann. Hashtag savage. <laughs> We're going to go up to microphone four all the way up at the top on the left. What's up, number four? Hi. What's up, dude? Hi. What's uh, your question, brother? If you could date either Catherine or Elena, who, who would you pick? 
Dude, I wouldn't date Catherine if you freaking paid me. <laughs> she's a sociopath. Elena, although she's like, you know, good 150 years younger than me, but it's cool. Why, who would you date? Catherine. Who would you date, Polly Polly? Catherine. You guys should go have a coffee. Talk about it. Let's have a coffee. Dude, Catherine, that says a lot about your personality. Catherine is a sociopath, just so you know. But if you want a double date, you guys go on a date with Catherine. I'll go on a date with Elena. We'll sit at a cafe and we'll see who ends up dead. Yeah, you and Elena will. <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Hey, how old are you, man? 11. So, guys, a round of applause at 11 to stand up in front of 1,000 people and ask a question. You rock, kid. Solid, brother. Thank you so much. We'll go back to microphone number one here on the right. Hello. Hi, I'm Olivia. And I was just wondering, if you could change anything about your character, what would it be? That he just wasn't so good. <laughs> um, my, uh, answer, my answer was better, bro. My, my guy was crying a little bit. He was a little whiny. My guy was crying a little bit. Uh, it's just he was very sweet. He's a great guy. He's a He's great guy. crying a little By bit. By the way, I'm always Team Stefan. I'm team... Uh, he just... Stamen. Stamen, bro. Stamen. Well, yeah, when you the put Damon brother. and Stefan together, man, then you get like a windfall of, of amazingness. Like yin and yang. Yeah, stamen. Do you know a stamen is also a part of a plant, uh, a part of a flower that's the reproductive part of a flower? I didn't know that. Yeah, well, now you do, bro. There's a stamen and there's a pistol. Okay. <laughs> Dropping that knowledge. Thank Good to you. see you, kiddo. Thank you. Thanks for the education there. We have a question over here on microphone two on the left. Hello. Um, hi, I'm Megan, and I was wondering um, if you could offer to do another series, would you? Uh, uh, we, we could another, do what? what? Another season? Yeah. Oh, another season. Yeah. Well, we <sighs> were. Ish. Kind of. You know what? The answer is no from me. But... And if you could do the Vampire Diaries movie, but you could do it <clears throat> in not such like a like melodramatic way, if you could switch it up and make it like really kind of like raw and cool, because now Damon and Stefan are, you know, in their 40s. Uh, you could figure out how to, to make those timelines work. Um, Bro, guess you're going to be starring in this film alone. I could pull it off, bro. Why? What would you, what would you like to see in that movie? I don't know. <clears throat> I'll get it back. I'll figure it out. I'll write it. And I'll get it back to you. I'm hang, I've hung up my vampire cape. And they I don't wear capes, my, bro. My little teeth in the, uh, <clears throat> back in the dental office. <laughs> And I'm a human now, unfortunately. So, you know, that's it for me. No, vamp no, no more vampires. Vampires? <laughs> you must be an original. <laughs> it's good to see you, kiddo. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you being so awesome, much. man. Thank you. Are you happy? You feel good? All right, good. Hey, give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Such lovely people. You guys here are awesome, Liverpool. man. Yeah. Are you having fun? Are you okay? Are you bored to tears? No? Good. Check it. We'll Just check, check in. <laughs> Just like checking a temperature. Yeah. Dipping that tail. We're going to go up to microphone temp, three all the way at the top on the right. Hi there. Hello. My question is, how well would you guys get on with your characters in real life? I would like Stefan. Damon's a legit asshole. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd like Stefan as well. He's a pretty nice guy, don't you think? He's reasonable. He's kind. Yeah. Whiny. He's sexy. Sexy? <laughs> he drives a Porsche. <laughs> He's drop dead sexy. <laughs> Get in my belly. 
Get in my belly. <laughs> Jesus, he's, that's brilliant. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. <laughs> no, Stefan was sweet, man. Stefan was like a legit dude. Damon was an asshole. Asshole mio. <laughs> Why, would you get along with him? Who would you get along with? Probably not Stefan, he's a bit whiny, but maybe Damon. <laughs> Excuse but in, but in real life, <laughs> security. Security. <laughs> security. Aaron. Any issue I have, security. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I see a Team Damon shirt. Security. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, remove this woman now. How old are you? 18. She's a woman. Get her. <laughs> totally legal. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Got Thank time. you, buddy. We have time for maybe two more questions. Sorry we didn't so. actually answer your question, but... <laughs> It's all part of the journey, man. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, yeah, GFY. She's out of here. That stands for go fang yourself. Fang your, okay. <laughs> so PC. We're huh? going to go up to microphone number four on the left. What's Hi. up, buddy? Hi, my name's Eva, and me and my mum just came back from Mystic Falls, and we had lunch at the grill, which is why I wanted to know, what's your favorite food? Well, like, what would you order in the grill? Just a liquid diet of Brothers Bond bourbon. Actually, no, they have this amazing salad there. It's got like blistered blueberries and goat cheese on it, and it's freaking yummy. Wow, that was loud, bro. Um, the food there is freaking awesome, man. They crushed the Mystic Grill. Maybe we should have gone into the restaurant business together. We should have gone in the restaurant business together, dude. bro. We well, we still do it. To the bourbon business. We could still do it. I, dude, believe me, there will be Brothers Bond, like, um, little, like, bodega. Like, no, not bodegas. That's like a, oh, but, I mean, like, a little, like, uh, bistros. In, like, I, I see it in, like, really dope little cities or, like, airports. I, I want to get one of those trucks that serves uh, Brothers and Brothers and Coke slushies. Ooh. Go around the festivals, and it's me and Ian making Brothers and Coke slushies. I'll kill it at Glastonbury. Yeah, man. The, we, oh, we yeah. were yeah. Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Yeah. Can you imagine that at like the Isle of Wight, that music oh, yeah. festival? That's a fun festival. Burning Man. Burning Man. Burning Man. You can't. You, Burning Man is. It wouldn't work at Burning Man. No. Well, too you wild. You, but it's all Burning Brother. It's trade. Burning Man is trade. Oh yeah, it's all trade. Oh, oh yeah. It work at Coachella though. Work at Coachella. Coachella, yeah. Just those um, anyway. Up. I love the Mystic Grill. We were just there. I was just there like a couple weeks ago. I'm go? glad you got to go there. It was a blast. Thank you. It was also really wild sitting there looking up at that clock tower that we've just seen so many, like thousands of hours of our lives, you know? It's built in 1830, which for the UK is nothing. It's like yesterday. Um... <laughs> But it was very special to see. It was cool. Thank you so much. I can't believe we didn't buy our cars, bro. Thank you. So stupid. Mine was like five hundred thousand dollars. Yours was expensive. Yeah, it was a very twenty grand. Mine was. I could have bought Damon's Camaro for twenty-seven thousand dollars. What were you thinking? I wasn't. Should have. I should have bought that freaking thing. You're a moron. No one's arguing that, bro. (laughs) Hello. The insults cracking me up. So we're going to go to, yes, oh, they come number out one. The Thank you. No, number one over here on the right. Hi, guys. Hi. Holy crap. Uh, collectively, you guys are like 20. How old are you guys? 12 and 10. Yeah, so 22. <laughs> so what's the question? Talk to me. Our question is, who do you prefer Elena with? Wait, do what? 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 Who do you prefer Elena with? Oh, Stefan, man. Again, guys, this is a... Oh, bro. No, da- bro. No, Stefan. Forbidden romance. No, bro. Bro. Damon <laughs> was a lunatic. Like, this is a psychological study. This guy was an asshole, and you wanted her to be with this <laughs> lovely young girl. I think that it's good that they ended up together at the end of the show. Nice. Nice, I like. Nice. I like. Yeah, I like you with oh. me. Yakshimash. What do you like to date? <laughs> You're only 18, but I like. Oh my God. My name, Damon, what's your name? <laughs> All right, anyway. 
<laughs> I honestly, I swear to you, he should have ended up with Stefan. So Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think, um, if you really want to know, I think Damon, Se Stefan, and Elena are the true romance. They are the true romance. You guys are just kind of like lust, you know? Lust, totally. Mine's more like love. Yeah, it's love, compassion, Yours is physical, sweetness. Mine is mental. Yeah. Well, you got to kind of, you got to bring like the our two relationship together, is you know what physical, Relation. right? You know what I mean? You mean, and less you mean you mental. And me? Yeah, it's right. less mental. <laughs> it's more um, by force. Yeah. <laughs> Brace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <laughs> genius. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. What's up, kiddo? Hi, my name's Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Paul. <laughs> Um, oh, thank sorry. you so much for signing my um, artwork of you this morning. Hell yeah, man. Um, my question is for you. Can you say Ice Ice Baby in your best voice? <laughs> this is single-handedly the most brilliant question I've ever been asked. It's our final one. <laughs> so do you mean like, because Paul and I can sing that whole song. So you mean like, well, at least like the first stands, I mean the first. Uh, Wait, I'll do the beats. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Paul is back with the brand new invention, something. Grabs a hold of him tightly, stuffing like a something, daily and nightly. Will he ever stop? Yo, you don't know. Turn out the lights and he'll blow. Oh, I got one. Shut up. Shut up. To, to the extreme, he rocks a mic like a vandal, light up the stage and watch a chump like a candle dance. Ice, ice, baby. Thank you. I cannot believe that's We're the not last win part a of the panel. We're not going to win a Grammy, but we will win a Mammy. A Razzie. A Razzie. Well, guys, you've had amazing you, questions. Kiddo. Thank you so much. Any final words for your friends I'm here so in Liverpool? I'm so sorry we didn't get to all of you, but listen, I'm telling you, your time would have been wasted. We are so thankful for you guys. And I'm sorry we didn't get to you. It's because Paul and I are idiots when we answer questions. How dare you be so popular? Skin. Oh, buddy. She's sad you're leaving, she says. Well, no, she's <laughs> sad of listening to this bullshit answer. You know? <laughs> guys, what a special time. This is our first time doing something like this post-pandemic uh, in Europe together. Nice. Nice. <laughs> but we love and appreciate you all, the smiles and the energy and the love. And of course, sorry, it got a little rushed because we needed to make sure we made this panel and stuff. We love you right back, man. It's, it's really meaningful to be here and just the amount of people that realize how hard we've been working. We cannot wait to bring Brothers Bond to the UK. And we're going to do so many tastings, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to get you all hammered. And it's just, it's, the, it's just a really cool time for us, you know, that we got to um, parlay this into something so insanely meaningful that will be like a 50-generation, you know, legacy brand for us. So thanks for making that happen. We love you and appreciate you from the deepest depths of our you know, freaking hearts. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for, very nice. Thank you so much for being here. You have made so many memories with all the fans here, and you've been amazing to all of them. So thank you. Please give a big round of applause Woo! to Paul Wesley and Ian Summerhalder from the Vampire Diaries. Thank you so much, Liverpool. We appreciate you guys, man.